Visit abbaeservices.com for fast medical transcription service. This podcast episode is brought to you by AB Music Creative. This episode is brought to you by Dr. Lourdes Capolong. Why is it that we as a society have forgotten how to converse? I think a lot of times people, you know, parents have a hard job and people get so busy and so tied up with what they're trying to do and um, that it's really hard for people to stop. Most, most of us don't really experience our lives as we live them. Let me say, most people don't experience their lives as we live, as they live them. Right. Wow. They're like, they're just going through the motion. Right. Right. And so it's learning. Well, there's actually, there's uh, something called mindfulness, which is a practice that... Can I get a high five, Doc? Okay. <laughs> because with everything that you're... Goosebumps, because yes, keep talking Doc, about mindfulness. Mindfulness. It's, it's um, basically uh, a technique or a, and a philosophy. It's based on uh, Eastern philosophy, and uh, it was actually put in a structure by a psychologist to work with people who have pain, chronic pain. But research has found that it's been helpful for um, almost everything, uh, anxiety, depression, um, any kind of stress. Right. And basically, it's training yourself to attend to what's happening in the moment. Um, so an example is most of the time when we sit and we uh, have a meal, we're sitting in front of TV, or a lot of us do, and we're eating and we're watching TV and we're thinking about, okay, after, you know, I've got to go get, <laughs> I got to pick up some groceries after this or whatever it is. You're not even really tasting your food. Right. So it's learning to attend to what's happening in that moment. And it involves um, some meditations, but the meditations are not trying to clear your mind per se. It's, it's focusing like on your breath. And um, there's uh, one called a body scan that uh, you, might lie, you might lie down and you notice how your body feels, how your toes feel. But without, and all of this has to be without judgment. So you just know, you, and not trying to change anything. You're not trying to relax. You're just noticing. And so if you're, for example, doing a body scan and you get to your knee and your knee hurts, it's like, okay, my knee hurts. You just notice it and then you, you know, continue. You don't assign uh, anything like, oh my God, my hurt, <laughs> knee is hurting. You know, it's just, okay, it hurts. <clears throat> um, and uh, it's important to develop a practice of this so you do it on a daily basis. And some of the, um, and they're guided meditations. There's a lot of apps out there. Um, Headspace. Me. Headspace is one. It's, uh, there's also one called uh, Mindfulness Coach. My, yes, Mindfulness Coach, yes. yes. And so, um, um, and they explain what mindfulness is and they're very, very good. So, uh, you know, just downloading the app and going through um, the different uh, mm. exercises. And some of the meditations are like five minutes yeah. or something. It's not like you have to dedicate, you know, an extensive period of time to it. My children actually do the breathing exercise, at least one minute, like breathe, hold, right. exhale. Right. And I asked them, does it help? And they're like, yes, daddy. Yeah. I go, keep doing that, especially if you guys are having a quiz. Yeah. Do that. So mindfulness is really important. Is it the same as saying stop and smell the roses? It, yeah. Or actually. take a look at the roses. <laughs> it's experience the roses. It's what do they look like? What do, uh, they, smell, you know, mm. what do they smell like? What... Um, what are the different colors? You know, that all of that. It's really just noticing what's in front of you. So, Doc, why in, in spite of all this, and it's readily available if you have if you have an Android phone or an iPhone, I mean there are free apps that can help you do that. Why is it hard for people to actually invest five to ten minutes? 
minutes of their time to make themselves better. Because they're rushing through their lives, which means they really need to do that. And sometimes a lot of people don't know about mindfulness. They don't know about the apps and they think of it sometimes as this woo-woo kind of thing. Mm. And it's really not. Um, it's just kind of slowing yourself down and um, being able to <clears throat> calm yourself. Um, um, like, let's say I have so many things in my head. Um, you know you know that feeling, Doc, when when you're stressing because you're like, okay, you all, I have to return the truck, I have to pick up my kids, I have to pay the bill, I have to pick up my wife. They're all in your head. Right. How, how does mindfulness help you? Is it just acknowledging that they're all in your head or finding a way to get rid of it from your head? It's, it's just acknowledging they're there because that is your experience at that moment. You know, it's like, okay, um, do you want to continue to have that or do you want to take a moment and, you know, kind of center yourself? Um, and so sometimes people have uh, a reminder set on their phone or on, uh, you know, like I know some of the watches have yeah. automatic the reminders. Br the breathe one, yeah. Right, right. Mm. And so um, uh, sometimes we have to schedule it into our into our <laughs> lives. I'm excited. These these are the topics that that because when I talk to my friends about it, they they're looking at me going, huh? Right. <laughs> but so when I'm hearing it from you, I'm like, yes. Yeah.